Hey, I'm Josiah Gonzalez. I just started working here at Oregon Mountain Outfitters. This is my first time going to the Gila, and I hope you guys enjoy. here at Doc Campbell's Post. Uh, Doc Campbell's Post was built in 1963 by Doc Campbell and then um, it was opened up in 1964 until um, he turned it over to his oldest daughter Isabella Campbell who is now Isabel Campbell Luker and her husband Paul. They ran the store for the last 40 years and then this January of 2018 myself and my wife Christy uh, we bought the store and we took it over so we're the third generation here of Campbell's to uh, take over the store. You can make a day of coming out to the Gila Hot Springs, and while you are out visiting the Gila Cliff Dwellings, you can go ahead and stop on by and see us and say hi. Uh, you can also soak at the hot springs um, and enjoy time with your family and your friends and make a great day of it. We hope to see you all. over them. Uh, you can see in this one where the holes in the walls are, that's where the roof timbers were, so even we would have been able to stand in here. Uh, oh yeah, the Mogollon didn't make square corners and plum walls like the Anasazi up to the north. Oh, yeah. you know, if, you, if you've ever been to Taos and stuff where you see the maintained pueblos where they stack the rooms on top of each other, the Mogollon didn't do that. They weren't worried about yeah. keeping things real clean. They were more rough construction. What was this section for? Well, this is kind of a strange construction in here. This is two floors. So there was, a, there was originally a floor separating it. You can still see timbers sticking out. It's not there anymore. But the lower room doesn't have any standing headroom and no sooting, so it would have been storage. That's how they determined that. The upper room is sooted, but it's interesting in that they built it all the way up to the top of the cave, which yeah. is not normal. It doesn't match the rest of the construction here. Yeah. Uh, and so that's not typical Mogollon construction. So we don't really know what they use that room for, yeah. but it's, it's it, it looks, it, if you've ever been to Walnut Canyon in Arizona, it looks a lot like the Sinagua construction where they built up to the tops of the caves. So yeah. we really don't know. The stones in the walls in here are made with the rock that was found in the cave. So they would have broken up the rocks into smaller ones to fit the way they wanted them to. They would have brought water up here and mixed mud for mortar. Um, the trees they cut down with stone axes and you saw the split boards there. They yeah. split the logs into, into boards. So yeah. and it seems like really hard impossible work to us to do that with those tools but to them it was normal they were they were nomadic people they moved around and everywhere they went they built new houses hmm. it was just what they did
Thank you guys for watching this week's video. The YouTube comment winner is Arlendo no Noami. Thank you so much for commenting. The Facebook comment winner is Julie Morgan Walker. Thank you so much for commenting. Be sure to comment for next week's video for a chance to win a $50 gift card. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.